Nvidia and its partners are getting ready to launch the RTX 4060 Ti graphics card very soon. Marketing materials are being sent out and more details are being shared with more employees involved in the process. Which means more leaks. Yes, I have some juicy details regarding the RTX 4060 Ti launch date, specifications, performance and price. So stick around until the end to find out what to expect from this upcoming mid-range NVIDIA GPU. Will it impress or disappoint? Let's find out right after I tell you about this great deal from my sponsor. CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now. So highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price. And grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. Now back to our topic. Here is the leaked box and logo design template for the RTX 4060 Ti. Nvidia provides these templates to all board partners in advance, but this does not give us any indication of when this graphics card will launch. However, we have learned through another source that Nvidia is targeting the end of May to launch the RTX 4060 Ti. I am sure that an exact date will eventually leak as well, so subscribe to the channel for an update on that. And here are the leaked specifications of the RTX 4060 Ti. The graphics card uses a cut-down version of the AD106 GPU produced on the TSMC 4N node, which provides significant power efficiency as well as performance improvement compared to the Samsung 8nm node used in the previous generation RTX 30 series graphics cards. The 4060 Ti features 4352 CUDA cores, 32 ray tracing cores, 8 GB of 18 gigabit per second GDDR6 memory across a 128-bit bus, providing the card with 288 GB per second of bandwidth. The TDP is just 160 watts, which is significantly lower than that of the 3060 Ti. Another source states that the 4060 Ti will have a 2310 MHz base and 2535 MHz boost core clock. If this is true, then the theoretical performance of the RTX 4060 Ti is 22 teraflops, which is 45% weaker than the RTX 4070 Ti. However, this does not mean that the 4060 Ti will be 45% slower than the 4070 Ti in games. Luckily, there is a way to find out how the 4060 Ti will perform in games. There is a graphics card based on the same AD106 GPU that is already available to buy, so it has been reviewed and tested. I'm talking about the RTX 4070 laptop graphics card. Looking at the differences in specifications between these two GPUs, it is safe to conclude that RTX 4060 Ti performance will be very close to what we see from an RTX 4070 laptop. So, with that in mind, let's have a look at how many FPS we can expect from an RTX 4060 Ti in various games at 1080p and 1440p resolution. Let's start with the latest hit game, Hogwarts Legacy. Using ultra settings, you should expect around 80 FPS average at 1080p and 63 FPS at 1440p. If we turn on DLSS quality mode with frame generation, then these numbers will rise to 140 FPS at 1080p and 90 FPS at 1440p. In Cyberpunk 2077 on Ultra settings, 4060 Ti should pump out close to 77 FPS at 1080p and 50 FPS at 1440p. With enabled ray tracing, DLSS quality mode and frame generation, we should expect about 100 FPS at 1080p and 75 FPS at 1440p. Dead Space is another fresh game. Using ultra settings at 1080p, expect to see about 85 FPS average and 52 FPS at 1440p. Switching on DLSS quality mode, the numbers go up to 120 FPS at 1080p and 87 FPS at 1440p. 
In Microsoft Flight Simulator on Ultra Graphics, we should see close to 70 FPS average at 1080p and just above 50 FPS at 1440p. DLSS quality mode with frame generation enabled should improve that to 115 FPS at 1080p and 77 FPS at 1440p. A Plague Tale Requiem is yet another recently released AAA game which is quite graphically demanding. Expect RTX 4060 Ti to deliver close to 60 FPS at 1080p and 44 FPS at 1440p. Again, you will have to enable DLSS in this game to boost that frame rate for consistent 60 plus FPS experience. Expect 115 FPS at 1080p and 85 FPS at 1440p with DLSS quality mode and frame generation enabled. Spider-Man Remastered is a good-looking game which is not too demanding. So expect 132 FPS average at 1080p and 98 FPS at 1440p on very high graphics preset. By the way, if you like this video, then consider tapping that thumbs up button below. It is the best way to reward me for my work. Now moving on to the popular online shooters. You should expect to be able to play maxed out Apex Legends quite comfortably with 4060 Ti. On average, the performance should be around 130 FPS at 1080p and over 100 FPS at 1440p. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 should play nicely even on extreme settings with over 100 FPS average at 1080p and around 75 FPS at 1440p. If you are a fan of Red Dead Redemption 2, then you will be happy to hear that I expect 4060 Ti to deliver a good experience in this game, with over 75 FPS average at 1080p and over 60 FPS at 1440p using ultra settings. Looking at these performance numbers, I expect RTX 4060 Ti to be a good option for those planning to play any current games as well as the upcoming AAA games at 1080p resolution using the highest graphics quality preset. If you are thinking of going with a 1440p resolution, then you should be prepared to make compromises, like using DLSS and even frame generation in some cases. The fact that this fairly powerful graphics card is expected to come with just 8GB of memory has me worried about its longevity, especially for 1440p gaming. That is yet another thing to keep in mind. Nvidia is not being generous with the amount of memory it plans to give to the lower tier RTX 40 series graphics cards this generation, so you may be pushed to make an upgrade sooner than you would have liked otherwise. Still, the performance estimates look quite impressive for a 160W graphics card considering the not-so-great specifications compared to the previous generation RTX 30 series cards. There is one more thing left to discuss. The price. The RTX 3060 Ti launched over two years ago with a $399 price tag. Surprisingly, it still sells for more than $400 on average. Additionally, NVIDIA's most recent RTX 40 series product releases have shown us that the company is committed to increasing prices across the board, so I expect to see the RTX 4060 Ti launch with a price tag over $400, possibly reaching as high as $499. However, we will have to wait and see how they price the RTX 4070, which should launch in two weeks' time. That will be the best indicator of what NVIDIA plans to do in terms of pricing in the lower tiers of the GPU market. This trend is alarming because RTX 4060 Ti has just 8GB of memory, which is still just about fine for playing games at 1080p for now, but you will have to make some compromises if you want to game at 1440p. 8GB in 2023 is just not good enough in my opinion, especially if the price is $400 or more. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments. By the way, if you haven't seen my video about the RTX 4070, why not check it out next? The prompt should be on your screen now. Just click on it to see what the RTX 4070 is all about. If you enjoyed this video, then reward it with a like and subscribe for more content like this. It was I, Vadim, until next time.